What's going on everybody? This is Jeff Rose, Dollar and Roses. Hey, I just want to do a quick little video to show you how you change your name servers whenever you buy a domain from GoDaddy. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, whenever you actually buy your domain and you buy a hosting account, so you're not going to host it through GoDaddy, you need to point your new domain to your new server. It's, a, it's kind of like connecting the addresses together. And it's quite simple, but if you've never done it before, it can be kind of tricky. So I just want to show you how you do that real quick in GoDaddy. So I've already logged into my GoDaddy account. And all you need to do is go over here and click on My Account. And that will bring up this screen here. Here you'll see your domains. Uh, if, you, if you're like myself, I have more than one. But I would just launch that. And that will bring up your next screen. And the one I'm actually going to show you real quick is... Uh, this is actually one I just recently bought. So you just click on the domain and that will bring up this screen here. So there's a bunch of information here. You're like, what the heck am I looking at? All you do need to do is go to name servers here. And what you see here, these are the default uh, domain or name servers that GoDaddy's given you. You're going to set your own. Click on set. And you're going to select the last option here. It says, I have specific name servers for my domains. And then name server one and name server two. Now, your hosting company will provide these for you. So whenever you actually set up your hosting account, you'll get an email that says, you know, thank you for signing up. Here are your two name servers. And typically what they are is NS1 and then NS2 dot and whatever uh, your domain uses dot com. And you'll simply just copy and paste those into these two spots here. And once you get that all set up, you just select OK to save. And then the little screen here says usually it takes up to two hours. And that, that varies. It can be as little as an hour. It can be uh, sometimes as long as 24 hours. But typically just give yourself a day and then you should be good to go. Then you'll be able to log, in, log into your hosting company and do whatever you need to do with your domain. I'll show you how to do that on another video. So that is how you change the name server on your new domain when you're hosted through or whenever you got it set up through GoDaddy. If you got any more questions, you know where to find us, Jeff and Mandy at dollarsandroses.com. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.